There continues to be no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Trinidad and Tobago. In its daily update on the country's status regarding COVID-19, the Ministry of Health says 49 samples have been submitted to the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, for testing of COVID-19. None of those samples have tested positive. The Ministry continues to remind the citizens to practice proper personal hygiene, like washing your hands, covering your nose and mouth when sneezing or coughing, and to avoid touching your face to guard against the spread of the virus. The public is also advised that the Caribbean, that CAFA rather, has the only lab that is certified to test the samples for COVID-19, and therefore it is the only lab that can confirm positive or negative results of the samples. If you are having flu-like symptoms, you should not self-medicate, but seek professional medical assistance. This from Country World Health Organization representative Dr. Erica Wheeler. Dr. Wheeler was speaking on TTT's Now Morning Show when she made the plea to citizens. Educate themselves and know what the typical symptoms of COVID are compared to other symptoms. But yes, it is possible that people may self-medicate because remember, unlike what you see on social media, everyone who gets it does not die. They yes. don't drop dead. Which is why. Dr. Wheeler stressed that we should not be worried that the coronavirus COVID-19 is now a pandemic, but instead to be more careful with our personal hygiene. We should be more afraid because it's a pandemic, but mm -hmm. we should certainly be more prepared. Yes. We have been, as WHO and PAHO saying, for several weeks, even since the epidemic started, that we need to take certain precautions. One virologist is calling on citizens to self-isolate if they have the flu or mild runny nose, symptoms which are similar to that of the coronavirus COVID-19. Dr. Chris Ora, who is attached to the Faculty of Medical Science at the University of the West Indies, made the comment while speaking on TTT's Now Morning Show. If you feel you've got any symptoms, when we start getting the virus, not now, we haven't got the virus now, but if people, once we get the virus, if people start to seeing, see, feeling they've got symptoms, most people won't feel much. We heard about Tom Hanks earlier. I mean, he yeah. had a little cough, you know? Yeah. So then self-isolate at home. Call the numbers that we have from the Ministry of Health. Call your doctor. Don't rush into hospitals. Don't rush into health centers. Don't rush outside, you know, because... Editor-in-chief of Newsroom Guyana, Fariza Hanif, says Guyanese are in panic and fear and are panic buying hand sanitizers and disinfectants following the country's first confirmed case of COVID-19 there. Ms. Hanif spoke to TTT via a telephone interview. Are reacting in a state of panic, concern. The lines in front of pharmacies were very, very long last night. Um, pharmacies and supermarkets are out of Lysol and hand sanitizer. Um, we're a very small population and most people are concerned that Guyana does not have the capacity to handle this type of outbreak here. But it's just one case, it's an imported case. At the moment, we know for sure that the Ministry of Public Health has at least 26 people on the surveillance and on the self-isolation. Health authorities in St. Vincent and the Grenadines have announced that the country has registered its first case of coronavirus COVID-19. The announcement was made by Minister of Health Robert Brown at a news conference on Wednesday night. The minister said the person was a female who had traveled to the United Kingdom. He said the person experienced flu-like symptoms and tests were sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency in Trinidad and Tobago. The tests were confirmed and the results returned to St. Vincent and the Grenadines Wednesday afternoon. The woman has been placed in isolation. She is said not to be experiencing any major respiratory symptoms and officials believe she only has a mild infection. She is said to be a young adult between the age of 30 and 35. She traveled to the UK for a meeting and returned to the UK on March 7th. She presented the symptoms, a cough and a fever on March 10th. 